Hey guys, this is part two of how to make a combination lock. If you didn't see part one already, go check that out. And let's get started. Okay, YouTube, I'm back, and I, that is done for deep in each side. So now we go down here. make tunnels. Oh. Yeah, that's just because we didn't have enough room. I didn't make it wide enough, but next you're going to want to go one deep into this hole and just Oh crap, you're going to want to go, yeah, one deep into this hole, and just tunnel back. I guess I already had one made, but, yeah, you're going to want to go, you're going to want to go too deep, like that. From, from the top, you're going to want to go down, and dig back. I believe it's one, two, uh, ten. So, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, right here. But you wanna you're gonna wanna go one this way. And just dig a two one two deep tunnel. Just like this, the whole way down. So you can have some room to work. Like so. And then your redstone will also run through here at a certain point. And you want to want to do the same thing for this tunnel, except opposite, like this side. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it was. And now that you're at the end here, again, go one over. Like so. And just dig a tunnel back. Oh, the end. Just like that. Then what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go back up to the surface. And you're going to want to add your pistons. So you add a whole line of sticky pistons. Just want to add, oh, oops, dang it. You want to add your whole line of sticky pistons. So you want to add st all sticky pistons and then the block that you're using. And then same for this side. And do the same for all the others. Do the same for this one and the other tunnel. And I'll be back to you when I'm done with that. Hey YouTube, I'm back. Um, I just um, I got done putting all the pistons in, and I just made made it look a little nicer. Put everything in stone instead of dirt. You know, put that look a little nicer and made a little hallway for it. And I also dug two deep, two more deep from where the pistons are. They should be right here. Pretty sure. But that really doesn't matter. Anyway, going down to 
the works here. This is what we have. These are the pistons. Right here and right there. So what you're going to do is just for all these, for this one and this one, all these pistons, and the other one, over there, you're just going to want to put Hold on, let me dig out a little bit here. Just so I have enough room here. Sorry. Just give me a minute. You guys this might not be like this, but mine just happened to work out like this. But with it being in here with everything else. But you want to put repeaters. All on the all on the back of the pistons on all of them. Even this one. Okay. Then you want to put redstone dust. Just run them back, run them back these tunnels, back up to here and up, and just do all these pistons, and then all and do the whole other door, the whole other one over here, this one right here. I do this one too, and as soon as I'm done with that, I'll be back. Hey YouTube, I'm back. Um, I connected everything up. It gets good enough current. Gets good enough signal to get around to everything needs to be that needs to be powered. And now I'm going to show you where this one hooks up right here. So this door just simply hooks up <coughs> just like so. So now if we go up here, up here, it if we go up here and try out our combination, remember that's the reset button, so which is one, one, three, four. It should close. And then you push the reset button to open it back up. Now I'm going to be showing you how to put in another reset button on the other side to open it again from the other side. So for this, just put a button right there, wherever. I mean, I just chose there. And then take your redstone. And run it over here. You gotta run it from here over to here. And to do that, I simply just, because we're outside, just do this. Arc it over. Just like this. So it doesn't interfere, touch anything with that. Now, just like that. Now, you can't connect it to here because if you connect it to here, the repeaters are going one way. The repeater's going one way. So it won't let current get to that side. And it also has to go through this. Well, yeah, it has to go through that. So, just run your dust over oops, over here. 
Nah, you know what? We so we don't interfere with anything with the one that's gonna be coming into there. We'll just again arc it back over. Like so. Oops. We don't want that either. So just arc it over this one. Uh, we don't need that big of one. We can just do. No, we do. And then it looks like we're going to be interfering with this. Just put a block right there. So just run your dust up and over, down and connect it. Like so. It's all going to the same place. So now, in order to see if we can get enough current, just simply put a lever. Okay, so we'll put one up here. This one will make it down. Put one there. Put one there. There we go. And let me get mine the lever. Put a button instead. can hear it back there, so it's doing its job just fine. So now we are going to, since that's done, come down here and I'm going to tell you what this one's for. Now, this one is for opening when people get it wrong. Now, before we do this, though, I want to fill it with lava because it's most of the time going to be closed. So, I'm going to do this now. And get it over with. So, just fill these two with lava, right here, and when that, when you, when you're done with that, so do this one and that one, and when you're done, and when I'm done with that, I'll get back with you guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching part two of how to make a combination lock, make sure you go check out part three, and please comment, rate, subscribe, and have a nice day. Thanks guys, bye.